This is day 14 of Truth of the Spirit's Daily Prophetic Words to Prepare the Way of the Lord. Advent Pearls of Saturday of the Second Week of Advent. I'm Patty Bruner. The Lord says, My child, the immediate needs of taking care of your family sometimes takes time that you would rather spend on self. The focus on the Lord does not take time away from good deeds or chores. Focus on the Lord makes errands and chores go smoothly. Focusing on Jesus makes all things new. Focusing on Jesus allows you to accomplish the work of mother, wife, evangelist, teacher, and bride. Come to Jesus in all you do. When you offend Jesus by what you say or do, you'll know that you have stepped in the wrong direction. There are two directions to face, toward Jesus or away from Jesus. The Lord then taught me when you focus on yourself, it can be with Jesus or without Jesus. Focusing on your own needs is necessary at times, the Lord says, it is the place that you grow. Introspection reveals where you have been and where you are going. Have you been with Jesus? If not, then repent. Are you going toward Jesus? If not, change direction. Each moment of your day is a direction. Even the decision of standing still faces a direction. Let not the enemy spin you like a top and confuse you. Anchor in the word, should that begin to happen. The Lord says, My child, the darkness grows cold as the light of Christ is prevented by sin and choice. Listen to my spirit. Dearest child, I love you. Confess these sins. You've been intolerant of others. You spoke harshly to others and wounded them. You've omitted works of mercy that would have given comfort. You have ignored those not in your path. You've set yourself above others. You've doubted the power of my grace to heal. You can confess these things today. It is enough for now. The Lord says, Dearest child, fear not. Do not allow the enemy to rob your peace or understanding of the message I spoke to you. The times they are a-changing is the mantra of your generation. The constancy in your life is me. Yet even so, your perception and true knowledge of me breaks along the current of the river. The Lord says, many claim to hear my voice. Some do. Some filter my voice so heavily that it cannot be discerned. Others are mistaken. A few are totally deceived. Whenever you hear, so says the Lord, you must stop and identify the source. Who are my prophets? Are they rich and powerful? Or are they humble and servant-minded? Next, ask. This word from the Lord, is it giving glory to the Lord? Does it align with the sovereignty of the Lord God Almighty? Or does it glorify man? Third, how can the word be used? Does it evoke a call to prayer, a call to connect to the living God to enter his kingdom? Finally, consider the source. Does the prophet live a life of prayer? Not all saints are prophets, and not all prophets are perfect, but the word, spoken true, is perfect. When a word gives leeway for interpretation, know that the Lord's mercy is upon you. Sirach wrote in chapter 48, Then Elijah arose, a prophet like fire, and his word burned like a torch. Psalm 80 sings, Restore us, O God. Let your face shine. 
that we might be saved. The Lord Jesus told us in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, Elijah is indeed coming and will restore all things. But I tell you that Elisha has already come and they did not recognize him. You've been listening to Truth of the Spirit. I'm your host, Patty Bruner. This is day 14 of Advent Pearl's Daily Prophetic Words to Prepare the Way of the Lord. We will post this episode on the YouTube playlist, Advent Pearls, and the words of the Lord on our website, patriarchministries.com. Come back next time because there's more with the Holy Spirit. There's always more. Amen. This is the Padua Podcast Network. Padua Podcast Network.com.